To create an expander, we would do that really easily in Adobe Audition using, uh, let's have a look here, effects, amplitude and compression, dynamics processing. Here it is. Uh, and actually, you'll see I've already pretty much set up uh, a downward uh, expander. So this space here is where the downward expanding is happening. Anything really, uh, as you can see here, below 40 decibels uh, will get downward expanded and it, it begins at sort of minus 25 dB. Now I'll show you exactly why I've set it up like this. Let's just reset it to normal, default here. So I've said, let's, let's take minus 25 as the start point for downward expansion and then we're going down to 40 to give it a bit of leeway. I could make it really hard like that and sort of say anything below minus 25 gets downward expanded. Now what is downward expansion? You're basically doing the inverse or the reverse of compression on any audio that falls below minus 25 dB. So anything below minus 25 dB will get squashed down almost so you can hardly hear it. So in my opinion, that's the best way of reducing noise because you're not actually eliminating it or scrubbing it. You're kind of crushing it. So it's kind of the best, the, the most lossless way of reducing noise in my opinion. Um, you can use a noise gate, but that's more binary. That's more one or zero, on or off. Downward expansion is a little more holistic, and I'll show you how you would set this up properly. So if you've got no idea how to set up a downward expander, uh, then what you would do is you would grab just a sample of the noise, the fan, here, and then in Adobe Audition, it's really easy to do this, you would go to Window, Amplitude Statistics, and you would scan, usually this would be completely blank if you haven't run it already, I think I ran it already this morning. Uh, if you click Scan Selection here, it is going to tell you the peak amplitude of your noise. So it tells me here, the noise, the fan in the background that's disturbing my podcast, is going no higher than minus 24.72 decibels. So let's round it up and call it minus 25 dB, okay? If I then select everything, go into the preview window, have a look at this downward expander, amplitude and compression, dynamics processing, and uh, look, immediately the fan has gone because I've told it anything below minus 25.4 dB, I want you to downward expand. Uh, and this is even more apparent if we go Shift D and bring in the spectral. I mean, look at how clean that is. Can you see that? It has basically eliminated that whole fan noise completely. Look, black spots down there in the preview, and uh, there's a lot of fan noise, and obviously you can see it in the waveform there when I make it bigger. Fan noise, no fan noise, speech remains intact. So anything above minus 25 dB, uh, the compressor or expander is not touching it, uh, but anything below, this is a hard delete. Now, what we're going to notice, and the reason why I initially had it set over like this, is if you, ooh, crikey, that's weird. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Let's go back to default. <laughs> that just went weird on me. Um... Let's go back. So we, we set that up for minus 25, and that goes down like this. So something like that, yeah. What you're going to notice, because I've got it set up really hard, that's like really, really tough, uh, that setting, you'll probably notice it kind of clips a bit of my speaking, so I lose a bit of speaking. Let's listen. Hey, it's Mike here, and welcome to the Adobe After Effects podcast. Can you hear that? It's kind of clipping because it goes, oh, 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 oh. every time my voice goes below minus 25 dB, it's uh, really not doing good stuff to it. So that's why you give it leeway by moving the bottom point over to minus, say, 40. This should be a little more natural. No fan? At all. Hey, it's Mike here, and welcome to the Adobe After Effects podcast. And I can still hear a bit of whoop, 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 whoop. so you can still hear the uh, the downward expander working. So I'm going to move it again over to maybe minus 45. Hey, it's Mike, and just at that point, I could start to hear the fan returning. So again, fine tune it over like that. No, a bit more, a bit more. Hey, it's Mike here, and welcome to the Adobe After Effects podcast. Now, the only issue with this particular podcast is we're rendering constantly. Okay, so you'll hear no fan noise. Switch the downward expander off and you get this. Hey, it's Mike here and welcome to the Adobe After Effects podcast. Now, the only issue with this particular podcast is we're rendering constantly. Let's put the downward expander back on. We're recording the show. So you'll always hear the CPU or the GPU raging itself up to a crazy level. Oh, <laughs>